Good evening folks. Today I'm making wild caught red snapper. One of my wifey's favorite. And I'll show you what I use for uh, ingredients. I got fresh organic adi, ginger, chilies, fresh turmeric, tomatoes, lemon, lime, sweet peppers, garlic, onions, imli, and I got MDH fish masala that I use and I'm gonna use some of the dhania over there it's fresh from my garden and then I got the rest of the masala here salt I'm gonna use black, black pepper deggi mirch red chili um, mustard jeera and a little bit of garam masala and uh, voila so these are the ingredients and this will be red snapper curry tari in coconut milk and last but least i'm going to use this coconut milk here organic they all say in the label organic but I don't know what's organic about coconut you don't need to spray it or anything like that but they're ready and another ingredient I'm gonna use is lime leaves organic lime leaves okay folks get my oil hot here and I'm gonna add onions Fry till it's golden brown. Alrighty, uh, food processor here. Got all the ingredients in there chili, fresh turmeric, garlic, ginger, sweet peppers, and then uh, the tomatoes go last. And the um, limes go last. Here we go, just grate it. Don't grate it too fine. Don't make a paste. So you can feel the ingredients in your mouth. While your onions are frying, I'll add uh, cardamom, black pepper, and cloves. Okay, my ingredients are frying in there. When they're a little golden brown, add tomatoes, freshly tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, I'm sorry. Add some dried lime leaves, or you can use uh, curry leaves if you have it. Okay, got my uh, red snapper cut into pieces. It's all fresh, good meat here. I don't know, uh, a lot of people fry them before they uh, put it in, but if it's fresh, I just dump it in. I don't fry them separately. It's the same thing, you're gonna put masala and fry it and transfer it, but uh, it's uh, if it's a frozen fish, then that makes sense. But uh, anyways. Okay, here we go. We're gonna fry this, and I'm gonna add salt some black pepper and some powdered chili mix it together fry it this is some Dhania powder with the garam masala too. You can add all the uh, masala according to your taste. You want it really spicy. Double it up. It ain't gonna hurt. After you fry it, 
for five minutes. Add um, tamarind juice. It's an option. And then last but not least, uh, I'm gonna add the uh, coconut milk. Alrighty, after you add the milk, mix it a little bit, cover it, and let it simmer for five to ten minutes. Depends on the flame. And you can see how the fish is cooking here. It's not breaking loose, still intact. And um, Voila, add uh, cilantro before you serve. And uh, that's it, folks. Hope you uh, like my recipe. Thank you.